Hello and good day people. Yet another Instagram TV video. This one I will call um, by specializing you will have to pay a price. Are you willing to pay this price and are you even aware that you have to pay a price? I will probably shorten it for the title but this is the topic. Um, I'm doing a lot of research right now into Moshe Feldenkrais work. He was a pioneer back then. Um, he's already dead but his work is is now present in movement culture um, mostly also because like Ido also researched this guy and of course Ido is like a huge um, influencer on the current movement culture um, yeah this guy is super interesting and I'm reading this book right now which is in German but the English title would be body and nature behavior and it is very inspiring for me to read some ideas are already backed up by science or also declined by science but in general, it's very interesting to research it is. Um, right now, I'm in the passage where he basically states, and it was very interesting, um, and you could see the, uh, the huge influence that he has on movement culture right now, because the way he thought and the way he, um, he taught also was on a very generalistic approach and matter. Um, and right now, he talks about like a, um, an example of of the eyesight and the specialization of eyesight that nowadays by working in front of a computer and reading quite a bit and like the the main length of the eyesight is like 25 30 centimeters or something like that um, and by doing that you will of course um, adapt to this length and back then when the when people were a little bit more varied like going in the fields going in the woods also working indoors and stuff like that they had to use a a different um, variety right um, and of course nowadays it also still exists but like many people are in this range and by doing that they will adapt to this range and this is basically his point that um, just by um, having this range doesn't mean this is like the range that us humans have but if you would know what you could also do with your eyes then you could of course increase your awareness and increase your vision and stuff like that and um, that leads to a very interesting thought for myself that um, of course we in the movement culture we promote kind of a generalistic approach um, yeah I, I won't go into too much detail why we do that or why it should be important but rather I want to uh, I want to provoke a little discussion with you or a thought process maybe in you um, stating that depending on your goals specialization could be a very nice thing or a very bad thing um, bad thing in a way that by specializing you would also pay a price and that price would be for example with the vision um, if you would also look at things that are this far apart you would lose the ability to also like look into long distances for example because your eye will adapt and you can't um, you can't um, do anything about it then um, and this is like the main question that is super interesting for me um, are you aware that by specializing in whatever discipline that you are doing either in a physical dis discipline or in your work or whatever by doing that you will also lose the ability to do other things over time of course um, and I don't want to say that either one is good or bad but it's just a very nice thing to think about um, are you aware that by practicing bouldering only you will adapt into this and lose many other possibilities um, and then on the other side are you also aware that by having a general approach that you are losing the depth in one discipline that you can gain by just practicing this one and I think this is a very nice thing to have in mind and to reflect on this because I also think that many people that are nowadays in the movement culture are like generalist and it's super nice and blah 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 but they forget the aspect and the the beautiness of devoting yourself into one discipline for so long that you can see so many sm super small details that are only visible through continuous and year-long or whatever practice um, so are you willing to pay these prices um, yeah I would love to to chatter with you about this um, I think it's just a very nice thing to have in mind. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you can take some information out of this or maybe 
some thought processes and I would love, as I said, um, to talk with you about this. So, all the best, enjoy.